Good morning, guys. I want to talk today about uh, our kids. I want to ask you a question. Who's watching your kids? Who's raising your kids? Um, we have so many things going on in the world at all times. We're working, we're providing, we're you know trying to find a, some way to find some sleep, uh, to keep our sanity, uh, handle our responsibilities, you know, and um, and hopefully you know raise kids to be better than we are. And it's a challenge. And every parent at some point feels like, you know, am I doing everything I need to do? Well, let me take that weight off of you. You know, God is perfect. And many times we fail Him, not because we don't know what to do, because sometimes we choose not to do what we know is the right thing to do. And sometimes that's because we don't think through the consequences. We don't think through uh, what's going to happen after we make a decision. And many times you can look at your children and you can look at them while you're telling them something and you know while you're telling them whether or not they're going to obey or not. You can see it in their eyes because sometimes they look at you and you can see this look in their eyes like, I'm still, I still want to do that other thing that I want to do. Well, that's exactly how we do as children, you know, no matter, we're all children to God, but just like you love your kids multiply that times infinity and that's how much God loves all of us and so he's a perfect father he's 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 absolutely infallible and yet we flow and we still you know disobey out of choice out of just pure disobedience because you know for our own desire that's selfish you know to do something opposite well our kids are in school you know and from different ages and they are just they have so many distractions with cell phones, you know, and personally, I don't allow my daughter to take her phone to school. And I hope that you are checking on your kids and seeing what they're texting, who they're talking to, what they're saying, and making sure that they're not using their time at school, distracting the teacher and other classmates while they should be learning. So what I want to say in all of that is that if you're not raising your kids, guess who is? The cell phone, uh, or what we call it, uh, the helophone, the television. Uh, the uh, the computer, all these different things that out there on these computers and televisions and cell phones that are not catered to raising your kids the way that you're trying to raise them. So if you're not in their ear more than the computer, the cell phone, or the TV, guess what? That you're not raising your kids. The TV and the media are. And so if that's not what you want into your kids, you better get tuned in because our kids are zoned out and they're teaching them mindless behavior. What that means is they're teaching them not to operate by their own minds, not counting, not thinking, not spelling, not writing. They're just zombies following along, um, you know, being led by the, 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 the means out there in the, in the computer world. And so they're not paying attention to their lives and they're becoming zombies, walking dead. And, you know, the TV shows that they're watching, all these things are teaching them to disrespect authority, to not want direction and instruction. Those are all things that are detrimental to their lives and the people that are around them. So I just want to make sure that you um, take note of that. Watch your kids. If you're not watching them, you best believe that the enemy is. And you need to keep your eye on them and you pray that God keeps his eye on them and cover them. Teach them, love them, tell them their worth, show them their worth, love them every day. Hey. The only order is God's order, and that's the true world order. And every, if you follow that, everything will be all right. I love you, but God loves you more. God's excited about your future. Hey, guys, everything is about relationship. God bless.